So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows Zone screen. Now once you see the Windows Zone screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options, which will then bring us into here. And now we're going to try out a few methods that could fix our problem. So for the first method, you want to click on Troubleshoot and then click on Advanced Options and then you want to click on System Restore. If you have a restore point like I do, you can click on next and then you can choose your restore point, click on next again and then click on finish which will then take you to your previous restore point. This should fix the problem for you. But if you do not have a restore point, for example if this might be greyed out and it will not let you continue, then you want to click on cancel. We're going to move on to the second method. Now once you're back here, and also by the way, if you do have an option that says continue and exit to Windows 11, then you can click on this and then see if that works for you, but you might not have this option. But anyways, if that does not work, then you want to click on troubleshoot again and then click on advanced options again, and then click on command prompt. Now once we're here, we're going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now, and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan has been completed, you want to close out command prompt, and then you want to click on turn off your PC, and then you just want to turn it back on again, and then see if that fixes your problem. If the problem is still not fixed, then you want to head back into the Windows recovery environment, like I showed you how to at the start of the video, by turning off your computer, then turning it back on again. And now for the third method, you want to click on troubleshoot, and then you want to click on reset this PC. You could either keep your personal files or you could choose to remove everything. It's up to you what you want to go with, but if you're going to go with remove everything, make sure that your personal files have been backed up. If they're not backed up, then click on keep my files. And then you just want to follow all the steps, and then you want to reset your computer, and then that's fix your problem. 